Hey, before we even get to the to, to the Ravens, those Bengals, your Bengals, hey, it's another <laughs> must must win uh, this week. Starting off zero and two, question marks over there right now too. But I mean, it starts with Lamar. It, it, that's kind of what it all where it always starts in this league. It seems with the quarterback position and what Lamar has shown us, what he's proven up to this point in his career. If he's playing, the Ravens are winning. Even the first week when it was ugly for a lot of teams, it was ugly against the Texans. Found a way to win. Then you come out against a divisional opponent, and then you play even better. And look, even you lose Odell, you look great in the passing game. Zay Flowers getting involved down the field, threw a couple of dots on those slot fades for touchdown as well. So he's finding his groove. And Monkin, he's opening up more. And and Lamar, he's kind of using his legs when he needs to to extend plays and still make throws down the field. So I'm loving what I'm seeing. Uh, from Lamar. Uh, now, like you said, they are banged up. You know, you, you lose Marcus Williams with the peck for a year. O-line is a little banged up. You lose J.K. So at some point you think, you know, that may show his head. But, I mean, Lamar has shown this. If he's playing, the Ravens are winning. And also their culture, the head coach, Harbaugh. Mm-hmm. You don't even have Marlon Humphrey back in the lineup yet. Shout out to Rocky Sin. He's been playing some good ball at corner. So the Ravens are doing a lot of good things. And they'll be tried and tested throughout this year, been in the AFC North. Um, but I picked them before the year to make a Super Bowl appearance, and uh, I'm st- I'm sticking with with uh, LJ and the boys down there in Baltimore. 